better than the best human surgeon? The potential to completely eliminate poverty and crime? The most successful product ever? These are just some of the claims that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has made when describing Tesla's next big project, humanoid robots. So is Elon exaggerating? Or is this actually an understatement? This video is a deep dive on Tesla's upcoming humanoid robot, where I will summarize everything that is publicly known about the program and the bot itself. How has the bot progressed since the unveiling? What key success factors are required for a humanoid robot to succeed commercially? Who are Tesla's main competitors and how are they positioned? Why is Tesla uniquely positioned to succeed where others have failed? And what does this mean for Tesla's future earnings? Let's dive right in. First announced by Elon Musk during Tesla's AI Day event in August 2021, Tesla Optimus, also known as the Tesla Bot, is a general purpose bipedal autonomous humanoid robot under development by Tesla. During the concept unveil, Elon provided some high level specifications for the robot. Notably, he explained that Tesla is uniquely positioned to build a functional humanoid robot because the company already possesses much of the talent, hardware, and software needed from their vehicle business. Fast forward to September 2022, Tesla introduced their first generation humanoid robot prototype, affectionately named Bumble C, at the 2022 AI Day event. Elon explained that Bumble C was built with semi-off-the-shelf mechanical parts and actuators as a proof of concept. Still, the robot was shown doing some manual tasks, such as carrying a box and watering some plants. Later at the event, Elon unveiled the first-generation Optimus robot prototype, and he explained that Tesla has designed Optimus with manufacturing focus in mind. He emphasized that in order for any humanoid robot to be successful, it must be extremely capable but it must also be manufactured in extremely high volume, on the scale of millions of units per year, to drive down manufacturing costs. A year later, in December 2023, Tesla unveiled the Optimus second generation robot, which featured a more refined design using in-house Tesla design actuators and sensors, 30% faster walk speed, 10 kilogram weight reduction, improved balance and full body control, new hands that now featured 11 degrees of freedom, and tactile sensing on the fingertips. The latest update came at the 2025 Tesla shareholder meeting, where Elon showed a video of the prototype production line currently operating in Fremont, California. He also revealed that Tesla intends to build its third generation of Optimus bot in 2026, and its fourth and fifth generations in 2027 and 2028, respectively. There are a number of humanoid robots available on the market in the year 2025, and some, like the Atlas robot from Boston Dynamics, have been around for a decade. And yet despite this, there are no real commercially successful humanoid robots on the market today. Why is that? Elon has talked about this on several occasions and proposed an explanation. According to Elon, there are three critical core competencies any company hoping to build and sell a commercially successful humanoid robot must possess. The first being real world AI experience. Humanoid robots need to be trained with end-to-end -end AI to navigate unstructured environments without constant human input. Without this, robots remain teleoperated or limited to scripted tasks, failing at general purpose use. Tesla's years of deploying AI in its full self-driving software for vehicles provides proven expertise in neural networks, vision processing, and autonomous decision-making. FSD uses end-to-end -end neural networks that process raw video data directly into action, such as steering or braking, without traditional rules-based programming. This allows vehicles to handle unpredictable scenarios like pedestrians or traffic. Tesla's occupancy network, a key FSD component that models 3D space from 2D images, helps Optimus understand its surroundings, avoiding obstacles and adapting to uneven terrain. The second core competency required is advanced engineering capabilities. Advanced engineering competency is required to solve the most challenging technological problems for humanoid robots, such as power efficiency and hand and forearm dexterity. Power efficiency is self-explanatory. The robot's functionality would be severely limited if it always required a tether to a power cable, or if the battery only lasted for an hour or two before requiring a recharge cycle. Tesla's Optimus will use a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, and Tesla has claimed approximately 8 to 12 hours of runtime, assuming a 100 watt power consumption when the robot is idle, and between 3 and 500 watts when walking or performing a task. Hand dexterity is absolutely critical to the success of any humanoid robot. Without human-level dexterity or functionality, 
the robot will be greatly limited in its ability to perform human tasks, greatly reducing its utility in everyday life. The human hand has a total of 27 degrees of freedom. For the non-science people, a degree of freedom is a single, independent way that something can move. Tesla's upcoming Optimus Gen 3 will feature a hand with 22 degrees of freedom, very close to the ability of a human hand. And finally, the third core competency, manufacturing. Through its experience in efficiently manufacturing electric vehicles on three different continents and across a vast and diversified supply chain, Tesla is uniquely qualified and positioned to mass produce a humanoid robot at a scale and speed that no other company on Earth can challenge. As previously discussed, Tesla is currently building Optimus Gen 2 in a pilot production line in Fremont, California, in limited volume. The next generation Optimus production line, which will be manufacturing Optimus Gen 3, is being constructed in Tesla's Texas Gigafactory, and they will reportedly have a production capacity of 1 million bots per year to start. Without the ability to mass-produce humanoid robots at extremely high volumes, they are simply too costly for most consumers. Economies of scale will unlock accessibility by driving down cost. Low manufacturing cost is essential because this will enable a price point at a level that most people could afford. Elon's target production cost for Optimus, when production has reached scale, is under $20,000 per unit. If cost is $20,000, then Tesla could sell Optimus for as little as $25,000 and still generate a 20% gross margin. Would you spend $25,000 on a humanoid robot that can cook, clean, do your laundry, walk your dog, brush your cat? I mean, scratch that last one, because that'll never happen with a cat, but you get the idea. I think most people would, not to mention the vast commercial opportunity for Optimus in the workforce. Like any industry, Tesla will face some serious competition in this market, and as of December 2025, the humanoid robot sector is a fiercely competitive arena. Let's review who I think are the two top Tesla competitors in this space, one based in the US and one based in China. Starting with Figure AI, which seems to be the closest to Tesla in terms of functionality and strategy. Based in San Jose, California, Figure AI was founded in 2022, and in February 2024, received venture capital funding from a consortium that included Jeff Bezos, Microsoft, Nvidia, Intel, and the startup funding divisions of Amazon and OpenAI. In late 2024, Figure's second generation humanoid robot, the Figure 2, was put to work in BMW's Spartanburg factory, where it worked helping to assemble several BMW models. The Figure 3 was unveiled in October 2025. It stands 5 foot 8 feet tall, like Optimus, weighs 134 pounds, and supports 20 kilogram payloads. It can walk up to 2.7 miles per hour, has a 5 hour runtime, and uses wireless inductive charging. The Figure 3 features redesigned five-fingered hands with 16 degrees of freedom each, enabling precise manipulation, such as grasping objects up to 25 kilograms, with integrated palm cameras and tactile sensors for adaptive control. Figure 3 uses Helix, the company's vision-based language action AI model that improves over time as it acquires new skills. Helix controls the full loop, perception, movement, and reasoning, on board and in real time. This enables Figure 3 to consider and perform tasks on its own without following a script. As of December 11, 2025, Figure AI has not yet announced an official retail price or broad consumer availability for the Figure 3 humanoid robot. The company is prioritizing industrial pilots and data collection before scaling to homes, with mass production ramping up at their BotQ facility, targeting 12,000 units annually initially, scaling to 100,000 units over four years. As for China, the country has made R&D in humanoid robots a priority, and like the EV business, it is by far the most competitive market in the world in the humanoid robot space. Over 30 new models of humanoid robots were unveiled in China in 2025 alone. However, if I had to pick only one that appears like the most credible threat to Tesla's Optimus and Figure AI's Figure 3, that would be Iron, developed by none other than Xpeng Motors, Tesla China's local rival in the vehicle business. Recently unveiled in November 2025 at the Xpeng AI Day, humanoid robot Iron represents Xpeng's ambitious pivot into embodied AI, leveraging its automotive expertise in batteries, AI chips, and autonomous driving technology. The robot is designed for versatile, human-centric tasks, emphasizing natural movement, safety, and scalability. Xpeng has invested over five years in its development, with early prototypes already integrated into factory operations. 
Its specifications are impressive. It uses solid state batteries that provide up to 6 hours of runtime. This battery is both 30% lighter and has 30% higher capacity than lithium ion. It has an impressive hand with 22 degrees of freedom and tactile sensing for grasping delicate objects. And it has a lot of compute power in the form of three in-house Turing AI chips delivering 2,250 tops, enabling real-time vision to motion without cloud dependency. This is about what we could expect from Tesla's AI5 chip and Optimus Gen 3. It's also extremely mobile and agile with a flexible spine, neck, shoulders, and waist. Like Optimus, it is 5 foot 8 inches tall, but it is a bit heavier at 154 pounds compared to Optimus' 125 pounds. Like Optimus, Iron was trained on a massive dataset from XPeng's self-driving fleet and human motion libraries. It also uses a vision-based end-to-end AI software that converts camera inputs directly to action. Mass production is planned for April 2026, targeting 10,000 units annually initially, although XPeng has not confirmed pricing. So as we can see, Optimus will have plenty of competition in this space, both domestically and internationally. Both Figure 3 and Iron seem well positioned to compete with Tesla on specs right now, at least according to what is currently publicly known about the Optimus Gen 3. It is too early in this budding market to establish winners and losers, especially given the rapid pace of change. Fortunately for all three players, the humanoid robot market is estimated to be worth hundreds of billions of dollars in the next 10 years, and possibly trillions. Yes, trillions with a T, beyond that. The market potential is vast, both on the direct-to-consumer side and on the commercial side, meaning that there will probably be plenty of room for more than one winner in this space. Let's assume that the humanoid robot market grows to $1 trillion in 10 years, and that Tesla owns 15% of this market. This would equal to revenues of about $150 billion. At a 15% net profit margin, this is an extra $22.5 billion per year in annual profit. If we apply a very reasonable 50x price-to-earnings ratio against these earnings, and then discount this amount back to today's dollars, we land at a value of about $124 per share. So what do you think? Would you buy a humanoid robot? How much would you pay for it? Do you think this market will be winner-take-all, or winner-take-most type of market with a few concentrated players? Or will it be large and fragmented with hundreds of different competitors? Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time. Thank you.